My friends, this video is another one that will contain a lot of miscellaneous random things. And if you want to know more about that, stay tuned right after this. Hello, my friends. Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. Today is Thursday, September 22nd. Yeah, I know it didn't have any sound on that little tiny vlog I put out yesterday. <laughs> I didn't know it though till just a few minutes ago. You know, you can believe what you want. You can say, oh, he's exaggerating. But I promise you, nine out of 10 times, if I don't stay with a computer and then double check it afterwards, it will fail. It will always fail. In other words, if I'm in a hurry and I just want to post something that I normally post all the time, just like the little video I posted yesterday, I posted it off using my normal Friday morning uh, shop talk apparatus, the computer, the microphone, everything, and it works. You know, it works pretty much every Friday morning. I do have issues with it occasionally. Well, yesterday morning, I was in a hurry to get to our funeral that we were going to down in uh, Ellington, Missouri. It was my great uncle, Gene Dunn. I don't like to just not say something about why I didn't put out a vlog, so I just came in here real quick, just did a real quick live thing and said, guys, I won't be able to do a vlog today. This will have to suffice for the vlog. I'm attending my great uncle's funeral. So I sent it and then we drove our two hours to the funeral. You know, of course it didn't have any sound on it. It's just that way every time. If I don't double check every single thing I do on a computer, it will fail nine out of 10 times. And that includes every single video I upload. If I don't go back and watch it, and like it could be an hour long video. If I don't watch the entire hour before I turn it loose to you guys, I guarantee you there will be an error in it every single time. It's never failed me yet. And that's why I have to spend that extra hour. If I don't spend it, it won't be right. It is a, it's just a black and white fact. You can believe what you want and you can think he's just exaggerating. I'm not. Moving on, uh, <laughs> that was the first bit of randomness. The second bit of randomness is that the temperature here yesterday was 100 degrees on the thermometer for the second day in a row, exactly 100 degrees. This morning, it was 58. It's only supposed to get up to a high of 64 today. <laughs> It's Missouri, it, you know, it, everybody says this at everywhere they live, but if you don't like the weather, just stick around, it'll change. Well, Missouri is definitely one of those places. Okay, the third bit of randomness. See this? And see this? Well, I'm not going to get much done in the shop today because my wife is chomping at the bit for me to install these parts on her Ram 3500 diesel turbo, you know, big one ton truck so she can pull her horse trailer. Uh, yeah, this is what they call a turbo actuator. Our cheapest bid to have one of these put on the truck was over $3,000. The uh, most expensive bid was over $5,000. I bought this part, which according to and I'm just going by according to what the reviews are and according to all the notes that people have said, etc. and so forth. This is an aftermarket part that technically works better than the uh, actual uh, RAM part. This one sets itself where the other ones you have to actually have some machine put on it to uh, calibrate it. So this one actually calibrates itself. And according to everybody else, the truck performs better with this and it has more power, etc. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. I won't know until after I put this on. It costs 900 bucks for this part. And the labor, of course, is my time. So it's a whole lot cheaper, though, than $3,000. And honestly, the $3,000 bid we got to do this, I don't think I'd trust the guy with my tricycle. I don't actually have a tricycle, but if I had one. Okay, um, 
moving right along. I ran, uh, we got a heavy rain last night, and so I, first thing this morning, and keep in mind, it's only a few minutes after eight right now, so first thing this morning, I ran back to the pond, threw a little fish food out to the uh, new pond that I built, and I want, the main reason I went back to this morning was to check to see if my overflow work that I had cut in there, and of course, I did check it with a laser level and all that, so I was pretty sure it was right, and sure enough, it did work last night. Uh, it actually did flow out the overflow and the, the pond has dropped back down to the level of the pipe that I put in. But the pipe wouldn't have been able to handle the, the rain we got last night. So I'm glad I did make the overflow as well because, you know, I'm sure the pipe filled up and I'm sure the overflow ran out the rest of it. So it did work. I'm a happy guy. I wanted to interject a couple of things in this uh, video this morning. We had viewers that were touring Route 66, and by the way, Route 66 does go right by our farm here. Less than a mile away as the crow flies. And uh, those folks were viewers of the channel, and since they were in the neighborhood, they just dropped in. So let me introduce those folks to you right now. Hello, my friends. Jerry Rosa here at the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. We have some guests that just popped in. They were touring Route 66, which literally goes right by us here. This is Mike and Kathy Baumgartner from Massachusetts. Massachusetts, my goodness. We get them here from all over, and if you could, if you really knew what a hole in the wall place we are in, <laughs> you'd be amazed that people come from all over the United States to here. But uh, thank you for stopping in. They just kind of wanted to tour the shop, and so we're giving them a shop tour. That's fantastic. It's everything that you see and more. Yeah, the only thing different is that I'm much bigger than, than I look like on video. <laughs> yeah, I, I am actually 6'1", so, uh, you know, it, I'm a little taller than maybe I look like. I thought you were like 5'6". <laughs> <laughs> uh, hope you enjoyed meeting the Baumgartners. Well, they were a very pleasant couple, and I'm glad they stopped in. And if you're out touring Route 66 through Missouri, just feel free to stop in and say hi. My uh, son got back from the World Championships for the uh, Fox Trotting Horse Breed Association. He put out a brand new video on uh, what they did at the horse show. It shows them riding in the horse show and winning their awards. And it's pretty good video. So I would like to suggest that you check it out and do me a big favor and subscribe to his channel. He's only about 50 people short of being able to get his channel monetized and all that. So help him out and subscribe. Would you do that for me? The link is in the description. The next thing is why you guys tune in here. It's about instruments. So let me show you the next part. I've been showing you in my vlogs this no-name guitar that's owned by our guitar player in our band, Gary Haven. This was his, I think, uncle's or something like that. And uh, it, he thinks it was just a mail order guitar that his, I believe he said uncle, owned. And he took this little weird badge off of it. And this little weird badge was the only thing I found inside. And it says, Writer 1937. January 1937, in fact. Writer, R-I-G-H-T-E-R. Wait a minute, that may not be a G. That may be R-I-C-H-T-E-R. It's really hard to tell. Let me put the close-up glasses on. You know, it's, it's very faint writing. I'll let you guys see it. Maybe you can see it on your TV screens. Those large screens show up these things better than I can see them here. Well, it might be Richter. R-I-C-H, maybe. I thought it was G-H, but I think it is an R-I-C-H. T-E-R, January 1937. So I'm assuming this was glued to the front of this right here. It was glued to the neck block. And I'm assuming this might be the name brand of this guitar. It was basically ready to fall off. That's why I took it off. I first thought it was just a random piece of wood glued up inside there, but it may actually be the badge for this guitar. I did uh, get this brace glued back in here. All the braces were loose. I did get uh, one brace glued back on the uh, back here, so this is glued back in. So I'll get I'll get uh, two more braces glued in today, probably. I'll I'll glue one more in here and one more on here. And this is not the kind of deal where you can use the uh, the go bar post things. It this just doesn't work for that because. This thing is too odd shaped. It's it's got um, you know undulations in the top. You know they're not. It's not even a perfect arch. It's kind of like like more like that. It's more like a roller coaster across the top on this guitar. 
So there's no way to use go bars or anything on it. I I'm just using clamps and because of that I'm just putting you know one brace in the top and one brace in the back each day and I'll just do that for a while until we get caught up to that point. That doesn't take me very long to do that and uh, that way I'm not spending hours working on the guitar each day right now. And today, that's about all I'll get done anyway because I'm going to be working on my wife's truck. Just in case you were wondering, the funeral went without a hitch. Uh, I'm glad I did go because I ended up being a pallbearer because it was a very small funeral as my uh, great aunt and her daughters all had COVID. Oh, it was just horrible. It's just horrible. So we masked up and, and I uh, sanitized my hands afterwards to try to uh, avoid getting COVID yet again. Sad time, but on the other hand, he lived to be 91 years old, so he had a good run. I think that's going to be about it for today. I better get busy. Oh yeah, one more bit of randomness. I you, See, I do so many more things behind the scenes that you guys never see. <laughs> like... In addition to the pond and everything this morning, I've already finished repairing a bed also. In our new rental apartment, uh, the bed up there, um, it you know, it's like an Ikea type bed that it, it pulls out and makes a full king size bed or it can be a single bed. And it's, it's you know, one of those Ikea type deals. And uh, it's made pretty well, but I, I had my suspicions and uh, we had a couple of guests stay there just night before last, I guess. They were rather large couple <laughs> and the bed broke. So I, you know, it wasn't their fault. It, it just kind of was cheap made. What I did was I put it back together like it was made. And then I put a reinforcement board on the inside that you can't see, glued it, screwed it, all that. So that's another thing I did as a bit of randomness this morning already. Sometimes I do more before eight o'clock than I think some folks do all day. <laughs> it's just not easy being me. I'll see you tomorrow. And by the way, tomorrow is Shop Talk, 8 o'clock in the morning, assuming I can get the darn computer to come back with some sound. <laughs> That's another thing I'll have to spend some time on. Oh, I tell you, just something all the time. If you have uh, comments or questions or anything you'd like me to address tomorrow, please put those in the comments of this video today. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you tomorrow morning for Shop Talk. Yeah, yeah.